Blind but determined to live on his own, a Detroit man purchased this home. But paying it off didn't buy him the security that he hoped for. Now someone else owns it. Seven Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl is live on the city's west side tonight. Okay, Ronnie, how this happened? Well, you know, Bruce Smith uh, knew he was losing his eyesight. He knew the day was coming, and it came five years ago. That's why he purchased the small home, hoping he would never have to worry about not having a roof over his head. In 2011, Bruce Smith says he began purchasing the small house on land contract. It was just big enough for the sound engineer's equipment, his seeing eye dog Marley, and himself. Even though he is on a fixed income, he managed to pay it off $22,000. He got the deed last year. Things were good, or so he thought. A couple weeks ago, a couple of gentlemen came to my door and told me that I didn't own it anymore. Turns out the taxes hadn't been paid in a few years. Bruce says he didn't know. Looking back, he believes notices came to the house. Since they were in the previous owner's name, he sent the mail back because he didn't want to violate the law by opening it. So Bruce's house went into foreclosure and last October was sold in the Wayne County auction. And that's how Bruce lost his home. I may be homeless in a few short days. Myself, my studio equipment, my dog, we have nowhere to go. According to a notice, Eastwood Ventures is the new owner. I tried calling and went by the listed address on Willis Street, but the door was locked. I was told the eviction processes would start on uh, January 4th, which is on um, Sunday, so I imagine the processes will start on January 5th. They told me I could uh, rent the place from them, lease it from them, or repurchase it from them. For Bruce, money is tight. He can't afford to buy this house again. I do not want to attribute it to uh, me not being able to see the paperwork and everything. Uh, that's no excuse for it. Uh, I tried to be as independent as I can, and uh, maybe had I had someone looking a little closer to the paperwork or whatever, this wouldn't have happened. So the January 4th deadline is just the first deadline in the eviction process. This still has to go through the court system, and that could buy Bruce a few more weeks before he has to find another place to live. For now, we are live on the city's west side. Back to you.